let's see how we can add drops to our blocks using loot tables. Alright fans, let's back in Intelligent once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding loot tables, especially for our blocks. So basically the idea is that when we mine our blocks, certain things drop from them. So very straightforward idea. How does this work? Well, once again, in our data folder, tutorial mod folder, we're going to right click new directory called loot underscore tables. Once again, incredibly important that this is written correctly. And then inside of here, well, we're going to have to supply some JSON files once again. And the best resource for this for the time being is the external libraries. So once again, go down to the external libraries and then all the way to net Minecraft client extra 181 or whatever your version might be. And then once again, in the data folder, not in the recipes this time, but in the loot tables, we can see blocks right here and right here, all of this is available for us. So the idea is that we can see all of the loot tables for vanilla blocks. And of course, we also wanted to add the blocks directory here as well. So we're going to have tutorial mod, loot tables, blocks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over both copper ore and copper block loot tables and I'm just going to select them, press control C and then control V to paste them in. And you can see, for example, the copper ore block looks something like this. So in general, we're not going to go into crazy detail right here in this moment, but the general idea is that you can define certain pools and then inside of those pools, you have a number of roles. And basically, and then an entry is chosen. In this case, we only have one entry and you can even put entries and pools under certain conditions. So you can add certain conditions like here. You can, for example, say survives explosion. That's a certain condition. There are random conditions, something like that. So at the end of the tutorial, I'm going to actually show you two incredible resources for you to really basically understand loot tables, hone down and really what is going on here. But first of all, of course, we want to change this to tutorial mod colon citrine underscore block when we mine the block. So let's actually copy this and then right click refactor rename citrine block. There you go. In this case, it is very important that the name of the JSON file is exactly the same as the block that it supposed to drop from. So there the names have to match. And now the question is, how does the or look like? Because the or, if you think about it, that is actually a little bit of a special thing there. When you mine the or with a pickaxe, for example, that has the silk touch enchantment then the actual ore block drops so how does this one look like well it looks more complicated as you can clearly see but let's not go too crazy it's actually fairly straightforward so as an entry we have now the minecraft alternatives meaning that we have two different children and one of them is picked when a particular condition here is met and the other is picked if that is not the case that's the general idea here nothing too crazy so i'm just going to copy over the citrine block name here just to put it in here so here we basically want to define the block that should drop so in this case it's actually going to be or and then down here i'm just going to put this in and then just delete the underscore block because of course when we mine this we actually want raw citrine to drop in this case or well, basically want this to drop if we just mine this normally and we want the citrine or to drop when we use the silk touch enchantment let's also rename this of course to citrine or there you go and that is pretty much it. Once again, I can just highly recommend the external libraries. You have all of the loot tables available to you. So not only for blocks, but also for, you know, other things. For the time being, we're only going to be concerned with our blocks. So I can highly recommend just taking a look at this. However, we are not done yet because now the interesting thing is when we go back into our mod blocks class, we have specified the required correct tool for drops method right here, which is of course great, but which we should have, but we should only be able to get the ore with a pickaxe, right? A shovel or something like that should not work on this, but to actually facilitate that, we have to add some tags. So we're going to talk about tags in a later tutorial as well, in a little bit more detail. For the time being, you can think of tags as just a collection of certain blocks or items that have a similar functionality to them, or you want to group them together in some way. And we're going to need a few of them. So in our data folder, right click new directory called Minecraft, interestingly enough. And then inside of there, we're going to make a new directory called tags. Inside of there, we're going to make a new directory called blocks. And then inside of there, one last directory, and that's the mineable directory. There you go. Making sure that everything here is written correctly once again. And we can actually take a look at those tags in, once again, the client extra 1181 under tags blocks and then mineable right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy over all four of those JSON files, 
because that is just a little bit easier. But then we're going to paste this in and I'm going to delete all of the contents. So this here is how a normal tag would look like. You basically just have, you know, the JSON object replace false and then all of the values in a list right here. And we're going to be adding those in just a moment. Let me just delete the hole here as well, as well as the shovel. And then last but not least, the pickaxe, which is a lot of stuff, as you can clearly see. So the pickaxe is the one that is most extensive, and we're only going to be adding stuff to the pickaxe. So now I have to actually add all of our blocks that are only supposed to be mined with the pickaxe. And yes, you are going to have to do this. There is no way around it. So tutorial mod colon citrine underscore or, for example, and then we can basically continue. Now I've already prepared all of this, so I have already all of our blocks in here. So this would be all of the blocks that have been defined right here. And now those can only ever be mined with a pickaxe. But now the next question comes in, but how do we define the level at which they are mined or mineable at? Because I only want those to be mineable with iron tools. Well, once again, we go down to the external libraries and when we type in needs, you can see there is a needs diamond tool, needs iron tool, and needs stone tool. So once again, we can copy those over. I will actually copy them over from my already existing example right here. So this goes into the blocks folder, very important. But those do not go into the mineable, but the blocks folder. And you can see the stone and the diamond are empty, and the iron tools just have the same well, contents as the pickaxe in this case, because I want all of those to be able to be mined with the iron tool. Right, that's the general idea here. And yes, we will have to just add all of your new custom blocks to it. There's no way around that. But of course, that should be totally fine and not too crazy. You know, you just have to remember that and then it's going to be fine. Right? But after having added the tags as well as the loot tables and also making sure that you have the requires correct tool for drops all right here. Now everything is set up. So let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft and let's see if everything drops. So you can see when I use a stone pickaxe, it takes so long that you usually already know this is, takes too long. Let's see the iron pickaxe actually doesn't take too long. And there you go. The blocks drop exactly like you would expect them to. Let's see here. We also have some raw citrine dropping exactly how you would expect. And of course, you know, diamond would also work. It's just going to be a little bit faster here. And just to, well, show the diamond axe, well, you can see this is absolutely hopeless. You can see it it's not even show yet. So, of course, neither of those would work with the axe. So everything working great. Also, when you're testing this out, don't forget to enter into survival mode. Because, of course, in creative mode, nothing will drop anyway. So remember that as well. So two great resources that I can recommend is number one, the loot table article on the Minecraft fandom wiki right here, where basically all of the tags for the JSON file are explained in quite good detail. So I highly recommend taking a look at this. And if you just wanted to generate your loot tables, then you can take a look at Missode GitHub IO loot table right here. So loot table generator, just make sure that you are set to 118. That's very important because sometimes between versions, some things change. And inside of here, you can basically change all of the stuff that you want. You can, I mean, just play around with this highly recommend. You can, for example, see that you can add some conditions and you can see that there are a bunch of conditions. For example, you can, you know, time check, there's a weather check survival explosion, there's some random chances, matching tools, stuff like that. So there's plenty of stuff that you can do and change in here and add basically for making a custom loot table. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah.